he should be fixing a faulty laptop. Instead, this computer repairman is trying to hack into a customer's online bank account. <laughs> what he doesn't know is that we're secretly recording his every move. <laughs> it was just one of numerous abuses our investigation uncovered. <laughs> the most serious breaches were here at Laptop Revival in West London. My laptop isn't switching on at all. Um, and I've never had a problem with it before. Earlier, we'd loosened a memory chip to create a simple problem easily fixed. If you're a PC technician, it'd be one of the first things you'd check if your machine's not booting up properly. The very latest surveillance technology was used to keep track of our laptop. Special software activated an onboard camera, while at the same time recording every keystroke entered, so we could see in real time what the repairman was looking at. Minutes after powering up our faulty computer, the engineer at Laptop Revival spotted the loose memory chip and clicked it back in. Yet his colleague told us the motherboard was faulty and needed replacing at a cost of £100. OK, so the machine's clearly fixed. He's now obviously looking at very sensitive uh, files in a folder marked private. That folder clearly wasn't even password protected, which would have been enough for idle curiosity. I think we'll see, yeah, so now he's actually showing it to his colleagues as well. Later, another engineer powers up the laptop and finds login details for Facebook and Hotmail accounts. The tracking software is telling us that we've now installed a, a memory stick and they're starting to copy files over. Uh, we can see they're going to a, a file called Mama Jammers. Now, the loss of, of images obviously is concerning. The really concerning thing for me, though, is we're seeing a, a plain text file with login credentials for uh, things all, including bank account details. Indeed, the engineer only fails to log into the online account because the details here are made up. Uh, clearly, what you've shown suggests there is a, a much wider problem in the industry than, than we knew about, um, simply because people don't know it for themselves, so they're not reporting it to us. I think based on what we've seen and the range of problems that you've, you've identified to us, it does suggest that we do need to be um, carrying out the same sort of exercise as you carried out. Off the other repair shops we visited, an engineer at Digitech also accessed private files but said they were only trying to check the memory. PC World wrongly told us we'd have to replace a faulty motherboard. We paid them £230, but when the laptop was returned, the original motherboard was still in place. They've apologised and refunded our money. Micro and Vika charged us £145 for a full examination after they'd already fixed the problem. They said it was a misunderstanding and also refunded our money. Inova Computers wanted to replace the motherboard. When we declined, they returned our machine with apparent solder damage to the memory chip. They've denied any wrongdoing. Back at Laptop Revival, we confronted them with our findings. You can ask us not to film, but uh, we, feel, we feel it's in the public interest to film you. Please, not film at the moment. Yeah. We agree, if I let him, he can do it. Please stop it. The trade body representing many of the country's computer repair shops has now suspended Laptop Revival from its association pending an investigation. Staff at the West London Repair Shop have denied any knowledge of the alleged abuses. Mark White, Sky News.